forget, we'll be attending the Christmas service in church this Sunday. No! Christmas is all about presents! You I want to stay home and open my presents! You got it wrong, Megan. Christmas is about... No! I've made up my mind. I'm staying home. Is this some kind of treasure box? J E J E Must be jewelry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. transported us somewhere. Oh look, there's a lake. I wonder what's this place called. Oh, there is a signboard. It reads children's church teacher saying that the Sea of Galilee is actually a lake. I think the box just transported us back in time. Whoa! Wow! This is so confusing! A lake but called a sea? I'm an elephant! Can you call me a mouse? Um, you're an elephant. Your name is Ali. Are you sure you want to be called Ali Mouse? No! 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 <laughs> Look, Megan, what are these fishermen doing? Um, they look like they're busy sewing, but they're not sewing clothes. Come on, Allie, let's go see what they're doing. Whee! Hi, misters. I'm Megan, and this is Allie. May I ask what you guys are sewing? Oh, hi, Megan. Um, hi, Allie. I'm Simon. You can call me The Rock. Um, why don't you take a seat? Hello, Mr. Rock. You have such a cool name. Oh, why? Thank you. In fact, we just came back from the Sea of Galilee, and now we're just mending our nets. Do you have to mend your nets every time you come back after the sea? This is so much work. Hey, little girl. Do you know what happened just now? When Simon and his friend went out to the seas, a huge storm came. From the shores here, I see huge wave, strong beating against the boat that Simon and his friend were in. The boat was rocking from left and right. Hmm. Yeah, it, it, it was all just calm and peaceful. Suddenly, all of us on the deck, and it was so peaceful that even our teacher was taking a nap. And suddenly, a huge wind came and blew onto the ship, and all of us got wet. Woo! I have it! How did you get wet? Um, 
there were huge waves and such strong wind. And the water came on from the sea, came onto the boat, and splash! And that really woke us up. You mean splash like this? Hey, 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 stop it! Well, I don't want to get wet again, please. Sorry. That was nothing compared to what happened on the boat. So it 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 was so it was so bad that our ship was being rocked from right to left. And, and, and we, we thought that we won't be able to make it back. And we did not know what other dangers are there lurking out in the, on the sea. So does your teacher know what was happening on the boat? Or was he still sleeping? He, we, 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 we thought that we were going to sink. So we had to wake him up. We went down to shook him to wake him up. He was our only hope. The, 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 wow, it was so terrible. We had never seen any storm like this. We, we couldn't, if we couldn't find a place to, 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 to just hold on to, we had to, to hold, we had to crawl with our hands and our legs just so that we can be safe. So, but actually, what happened just now? I saw the boat went perfectly still. When, when, when our teacher woke up, he looked up to the sky and then he looked down into the ocean and he said, be quiet. And suddenly, everything was peaceful. The, the waves slowed down, the wind stopped blowing, and the boat stopped rocking. It was all just still. Wow! Yeah. Your teacher is so amazing! Even the winds and waves obey him! Yeah, and uh, after that, he... What happened after that? Uh, he stared at us. Uh, what? He got angry? Well, um, when we woke, went to shake him to wake him up, we kind of blamed him, blamed him for not caring about us and not thinking about us. And and after that, he after he he, he said everything to be quiet. He just uh, looked at us. He looked at us and said, "Don't you have any faith?" Whoa, Simon. Where is your teacher now? I want to follow him. Mm, he's so amazing. You know, even the winds and waves obeys him. Who is he exactly? Sorry, I did not realize you were there. I was practicing for next week. By the way, my name is Kumalo, but my friends call me Nimbus. Actually, my long name is Kumalo Nimbus, and I am a cloud. Oh, that's a really long name. You were scary at first, but now I'm not so sure. Oh, don't worry. My bark is worse than my bite. As I said, I'm a cloud and my job is to protect you from the sun's heat and at night to act as a blanket to keep you from getting cold. And my favorite part is precipitation. Precipi what? Wow, you sure use a lot of big words like your name. <laughs> Precipitation means rain, snow, or hail. Any kind of weather where something is falling from the sky. I love to rain down on planet Earth. Do you know, without precipitation, all of the land on Earth will be a desert? Precipitation helps farmers grow crops and provides all of us fresh water to drink. Wow, did you know that precipitation? I mean, rain provides us water to drink and for the farmers to grow their crops, like rice, wheat, 
corn, and so many other types of crops that provide us food today. But back to my story. Did you know what happened at the Sea of Galilee last night? Oh, dear. Last night, I was a bit mischievous and caused a storm over Lake Galilee. I was having so much fun looking at the people in the boat getting worried and helpless. I know I was naughty, but I wasn't going to hurt them. Then I saw the great master say, Be quiet. I swear I did not know the great master was on board. Otherwise, I would have played, not played the trick. Really. Was the great master angry when he said, Be quiet? No, I, I, I don't think so. The great master is really, really good. He always helps people, even and ever since he went down to planet Earth. You know, I see a lot of people on Earth getting worried and scared when they see people fighting, arguing, getting sick. And even now, like with COVID, so many people getting worried just like the men in the boat. But you know what? What? Just like when the great master asked me and the waves to be quiet. The great master can also quieten the fear and worry in your hearts. So even if there's fighting, arguing, sickness, COVID and bad things happening outside of you, Jesus the great master can give us peace within our hearts. How can Jesus do that? Well, real peace is not based on what's going on around us. Peace comes from trusting God is in control of everything and He will take care of us. Just like when Jesus calmed the storm, He can calm the storms in your life. All we need to do is to ask and trust Him when we do. That's amazing! I agree! And you know what? I think I know just the song for this. Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified, do not be discouraged For the Lord your God will be with you Wherever you go, wherever you go Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified, do not be discouraged For the Lord your God will be with you Wherever you go, wherever you go Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified, do not What's this? The magician? Maybe he can help us find the jewelry. Come on, Ellie! 